Hi, I'm Amy McCobb, and I wrote a poem called Whitman Gone Wild, and it's about the relationship, or at least hookup, between Oscar Wilde and Walt Whitman. So here it is, Whitman Gone Wild, and I dedicate this poem to Jade Sylvan and Meth. Whitman Gone Wild. Ah, I have kissed thy mouth, Father Greybeard. I have kissed thy mouth. There was a bitter taste on thy lips like the black waters of Leith. I kissed thy mouth and placed a hand upon a shriveled knee, tensed with the former coils of a spry and vigorous youth. Let us restore glory to honor. Let us sing the body electric. Let us renew our vows to Ganymede. I am a purveyor of dreadfully penny wishes, grand gestures, an orator of the ordinary, and I will wait with bated breath like a hungry hound to lap the scraps you lay at my prostrated form. Or at least as I stoop to thee, these carpets are rather harsh on the knees. Let me lay with you, Greybeard. I have kissed thy mouth. Thy severed head wizened and cold, and I have tasted the bitterness of lost youth. Text me a selfie and a smirk, old captain, with a green carnation betwixt thy teeth, with ribbons of gold tied to your bushy brow. Tag me in photos of ripped stockings and ornately carved estate mirrors, trash-picked handbags and hand-me-down hold-me-downs, handcuffs and baubles, bedposts and bureaucracy. I will make you all of my top five to further the anachronism. I will link your pages, devour hungrily your blog posts, and refresh my browser on your every quill-flecked point. The paparazzi can't handle us, dapper in our britches, twin witches of wordsmith, calamites of calamity. Come lay with me. I bring you cups of tea, of elderflower wine. I bring you news of a new age, a rising sun that shines on lithe forms and nubile beginnings. Let us go now to the bedchamber. Let us go and press upon the thee and the thou.